Александра Бофу, который, Бафу, который представляет Великобританию. Пожалуйста, Андре. Uh, thank you, Madam President. We seem to be talking about separatism as though it's a bad thing. Um, I'd, I'd like you to, uh, if you think it is a bad thing, go and tell that to somebody from Slovakia or Ireland or Estonia, who have all in the past had to express their, uh, their separatism. Um, and, and quite rightly, we back them. I do, do not think that separatism in itself is a wrong thing. It's rather, uh, it, you know, it is not a danger. Separatism can be just the, um, just the free democratic expression of people for some kind of identity. It is this general drift into centralization. And we, we use the word subsidiarity a lot. But we've been talking in this session about, for example, in the EU, wanting to centralize business taxes, minimum wage levels, because perish the thought that might result in competition between countries. It's that very centralizing view of Europe that makes me and many other people in the United Kingdom want to leave the EU, or even better, just hand our membership card to Turkey. The the, the, more, the more you take decisions away from people, the more likely they are to rebel against central authorities. And during times of economic difficulties, there is a knee-jerk reaction to centralize. The argument being that in times, uh, uh, in times when, when we are uh, forced to save money, that we need economies of scale. That argument never actually works because by trying to centralize, you immediately attract the overhead of bureau bureaucracy uh, to the expenditure of, of taxpayers' money on local services. When we talk about regionalization, we talk sometimes as though we are planning it from the center that we know where the regions should be and where the boundaries should be. I rather think that if we're going to talk about regional forms of government, we should ask ourselves who should be making that decision. I very much believe that it is the people themselves that should make those decisions. Regions and regional structures are just an, they're an accident of history. Well, it's an accident of history probably usually involving a man on a horse with a grudge, that a region is not a nation, and a nation is not a region. These are accidents of history. What is more constant are the settlements and communities and cities and villages um, that, that form parts of Europe, that, form, that make up Europe, that over history have been in different regions, different countries, different organizations. So it is at that level that these decisions should be made. If we take, for example, an initiative in the United Kingdom where three London boroughs, uh, amounting to a total population of about half a million, a little over half a million people, have voluntarily decided to merge their administrations. The advantage of merging their administrations without actually merging their, uh, their, their councils, is that they get the economies of scale by consent, and yet they still have democracy at the local level expressed as it was before. So in our drive to save money, in our drive to sit here at the center of Europe, telling Europe what to say, can I urge people not to make assumptions that every single separatist movement is wrong? I mean, we know of one particularly in Scotland. You know, I have an opinion on, on separatism for Scotland, but I don't think it's particularly valuable because I don't live there. And it is up to those people, to that Scottish people, to decide their future. So when we talk about regionalization, can we remember subsidiarity of ourselves? Are we sitting, sitting in our regional governments, as I do in, uh, uh, in London, are we 
uh, exercising subsidiarity? Are we giving those levels of government underneath us, those local authorities, the kind of powers they need? Because those local authorities and those communities and those settlements and those villages will long outlive the regional governments that we currently sit on. Thank you. Спасибо, Андре. Вы, как всегда, выступаете чрезвычайно вдохновенно и страстно, и действительно.